I'm gonna go out on a limb here, but I'm pretty sure you saw this here first. I'm pretty sure I did this first. I did it. I finally did it. I have recently purchased what is widely regarded, regarded, regarded as the best ultralight camp chair on the market, the Helinox Chair Zero. However, it could be better. Today, I'd like to show you three simple hacks that will absolutely improve the performance of your camp chair. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin. Now let's get into this. These chairs are awesome. There's a million videos on YouTube about these chairs, and what I'm going to show you can be applied to just about any camp chair out there, so I'm not going to get too crazy with the details. What I will say is that at just over a pound, these are the lightest chairs on the market of their kind, and they pack down quite small, not much bigger than those one liter water bottles that we all carry. The chair sits eight and a half inches off of the ground and can support up to 265 pounds. Those are impressive numbers, no doubt. But those numbers come at a premium, currently $119. I know, that's a lot of money for a camp chair, but for some of us, it's worth it. Enough about the chair, let's move on to the hack. The problem with these camp chairs, and many like them, are that the feet are basically non-existent. You get these little rubber feet that leave a lot to be desired, but that's what you get. They easily sink into the ground. It's happened to me, and I've seen it happen to other people dozens of times. Here's a cheap and easy way to fix that. My first hack, tennis balls, the small ones. I got these at PetSmart. I got six of them for $3, and they work great. All I did was cut a little hole in them, about an inch, and that allows the tennis ball to open up, and boom, they just slip right on. Done and what a difference they make. My buddy Craig Dwella and I, we recently went on a canoe trip in Maine and we both used this method and it worked great. But when I got back home and I was taking everything apart, drying it and whatnot, I had noticed that these had collected quite a bit of dirt and some moisture and it was on my chair and not really a big deal, but it was there. Also, all of them weigh 2.6 ounces. So all of that together got me thinking, maybe there's a better way. So. Callaway golf balls. Yeah. I purchased 20 of these for $5, and to make them work was a little bit more complicated than what it was with the tennis balls, but it was still very easy. I just simply marked out an X on the center at the top, used a Dremel tool with a small cutoff wheel, and made the cuts. It was real quick, real easy. They just slip right on to the feet, they hold securely, and they're not coming off. All four of these weigh 0.6 ounces, and they're hard, so they're not going to absorb any water. So all of that is a win in my book, and I think it's a better method, honestly, than the tennis balls. And the third hack that I stumbled across is my favorite one. Now, this is one that I've been thinking about for a long time, wondering how it is that I could do it, and finally I just decided to try it. And it's just a scrap piece of tarp with some Gorilla Tape. It's a little bathtub floor. The dimensions are just so that the chair just fits right into it. It snaps into place with a pressure fit and it just stays there. No straps, no buttons, no nothing. Now this comes in at 2.9 ounces. It's the heaviest option of the three, but there's a little secret to it, which is that this thing is dual purpose. This bathtub floor also serves as the case to the chair. Everything worked out just right and when the chair is all broken down and rolled up, it fits right inside this and I just roll it up. Bam, good to go. Pretty cool, right? This right here is by far my favorite idea of the three. At 2.9 ounces, without the sack that the chair came in, it comes out to about the same weight as if you were going to use the tennis balls. Now, by far, the lightest option are the golf balls, but this right here is my favorite. And I know that people have done the golf ball and tennis ball trick in the past. I've seen it. I'm sure all of you have, but I'm pretty sure that I'm the first person that's come up with a bathtub floor that also serves as the carry case to the chair. So I'm going to go out on a limb here, but I'm pretty sure you saw this here first. I'm pretty sure I did this first, but this got my wheels turning and I'm thinking about making one out of a lighter material just to save some of that weight. So I'm going to continue working on this and trying to improve it, make it as good as I can. And I hope that this video inspired you to maybe do something cool. I used my daughter's sandbox to test the capabilities. One minute and 30 seconds for each method, starting with just the chair, and down it went. 
the golf balls gave some resistance and made a difference. They sank a few inches before the chair stabilized itself. After that, the chair seemed pretty solid. The tennis balls performed as well as the golf balls, perhaps slightly better. The tarp and the tape is by far the most effective method. You could use this on a sandy beach, and I'd wager it will do pretty well in the winter too. Time will tell. What are your Helinox hacks? Do you have a cool hack that I didn't mention in this video? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching guys. Be creative and crafty, and I'll talk to you later. See you next time.